this video lesson let's learn about the circumference and area of a circle okay so we're given one problem which says find the circumference and area of a circle with diameter 16 centimeters use pi equals 3.14 okay so let's talk a little about the parts of a circle before we actually solve this problem okay so let's insert a little figure which will tell us about the parts of a circle now for a circle, uh, the diameter, okay, so the diameter is a segment which passes through the center, so it passes through the center of the circle, and its endpoints are points on the circle, so its endpoints are on the circle, okay. So if I label some parts of this diagram, let's say this is A, this is B, this is O and this is P. Okay, so AB is a diameter of the circle because it's a segment which has endpoints on the circle, which are point A and point B. So these endpoints lie on the circle, and it passes through the center, which is the point O. Okay, so that is what the diameter of a circle is. So that's one thing that is important which we need to remember. Next is the radius of a circle. Okay. A radius of a circle, or the radius, actually there could be more than one radius, is a segment, again, which has its endpoints, out of which one is on the circle and the other is at the center. Okay, So any segment which starts at the center and extends to the circle is called a radius. In this particular case, I can see two radii, and the plural of radius is called radii, okay? which is OP. So OP is 1, because this is between O and P, and OB is 1, right? In fact, they're not just two, even OA is a radius, and there could be more. I could draw more, okay? Similarly, even diameter, so there need not be only one diameter. I could draw another one, let's say from here all the way down here say Q and PQ would be a diameter of the circle. Okay, So that's what the diameter and radius are. Okay, The circumference of a circle is the distance along its edges or along its edge actually because there's one curved edge this is the path which completes the circle. This total distance if you start at this point and then you measure this length until you come back at this point again this is called the circumference of the circle. Okay, So these are the main parts of the circle that we need to know. Now the circumference of a circle is given by the formula pi d, Okay, that's pi times d, or 2 times pi times r. Okay, That's because diameter is 2 times r anyway. So that's another thing that we need to remember, which is that the diameter of a circle is 2 times the radius. This is always true for any circle. This also means that the radius is half of the diameter. Okay. So the formula for circumference is pi d, which is 2 pi r, and the formula for area of a circle is pi times r square, where r is the radius. Okay. So r is the radius, d is the diameter, and these are the formulae. Now what is pi? pi is a constant value so this is a constant value it's an irrational number and how does it come about it was calculated by calculating the ratio between the circumference and uh, diameter of a circle okay so for any circle no matter what circle it is this ratio is always constant and this is called pi the value of pi is irrational, but we can approximate it to a number which is 3.14. So it's approximately equal to this number. Now that we know the formulas to be used, let's calculate the area and the circumference of the circle. Okay. So we're given that the diameter is 16 centimeters. So the diameter is 16 centimeters, which means the radius is half of that. That's something we learned. So that's 8 centimeters. Okay. Now let's use the formulas. So the circumference C is equal to pi times D, which is 3.14 times 
D okay or that's 3.14 times 16 centimeters and 3.14 times 16 equals 50.24 so the circumference of this circle is 50.24 centimeters the area as we discussed is equal to pi times r square or pi times radius squared which is 3.14 times the square of the radius or 8 centimeters square right which is 3.14 times 64 or 200.96 centimeter squared so that's the radius now let's have a quick recap of what we learned we learned that the diameter of a circle is a segment that passes through its center and has its endpoints on the circle. Okay, so in this particular figure, EB is a diameter. A radius of a circle is a segment that has endpoints such that one endpoint is on the circle and one is at the center of the circle. Okay, so OB is a radius, OA is a radius, and so on. We also learnt that the value of the diameter, the measure of the length of the diameter, is always twice the radius, right? And that can be said in another way, which is that the radius is half the diameter. So that's the same thing. Now, two important formulas that we learnt for circles, which we should remember, is that the circumference of a circle is given by pi d or 2 times pi r, and the area is given by pi times r square. Here, pi is an irrational constant, okay, which never changes, and the value of pi can be approximated to 3.14.